Hey you guys, how you doing out there? You know, I said today's the day I want to make a video and I really felt compelled to contribute to the walk away campaign and I'll tell you why. In today's climate, the bravery it would take for somebody to create a hashtag, walk away, follow through with it and make a video um, about their personal journey, their story and how terrifying that would be to walk away from what you once felt comfortable with. And I just want to say, you know what, Brandon, I just love you so much. I think that this movement is probably as powerful as Martin Luther King. I really do. I just see it gaining momentum and I just wanted to contribute to the story in the such that it's kind of like a reverse flip side for me in the sense that growing up, I grew up in a Republican household and, you know, my dad always said, you got to vote Republican. And so, you know, we always did. I think my first president I voted for was Bush. And I was kind of told that's who I need to vote for. Now, mind you, I was very young back then. I didn't know anything about politics. All I knew is that my family was Republican and that's what I was supposed to do. I was led down that path. And, you know, so I kind of knew a little bit about the Democrats and that they were for the union and, you know, fought for people's rights and stuff. And, you know, um, but I really didn't know much about politics until, uh, you know, Trump became the nominee and I didn't know anything. And I just thought to myself, you know, my God, this is a good time to start educating myself. I really need to see what's going on. What are the Democrats all about? What are the Republicans all about? And, you know, to be honest with you, even being a Republican, back when Obama was nominated, I have to be honest, my dad told me, you need to vote Republican. But the way that Obama spoke, and he was so eloquent, and he was going to be I, what I thought our first black president, I thought, you know, this is monumental. And, you know, I kind of wanted to almost like sneak and vote for Obama because I really loved what he had to say about hope and change. And it, it really wasn't about the party. It was about the fact that I felt Obama was going to make really good changes to our country. You know, and then to come to find out later on through life now what their actual 16 year plan was, you know, to take America away from us. And, you know, the things that I want to tell kids today and express is that, um, you know, know what your party stands for and, and more importantly, know what you stand for, you know. And I just feel like if this was a role reversal and if my party was demonstrating um, the kind of hate, aggravation, um, burning down buildings and cars and, you know, really threatening with violence, I have to tell you, I'd be walking away from the Republicans if they were acting like this because it comes down to a moral value and the difference between what's right and what you believe in, you know, and I feel that, you know, we're supposed to be kind to others. We're not supposed to have this kind of hate. And at this point, I question where this is going with them. And it's very scary because I know people, and like myself, when I was on Facebook and I had a lot of friends and they used to like my stuff, and and I'm sure a lot of you experienced this, once they knew that I was voting for Trump, all of a sudden, no one liked any of my stuff. It was it was like I vanished. It was like they shut me down. And so what I decided, I got really upset and depressed about it. What I decided to do is go through my Facebook page one day. And I said, you know what, I'm going to start this process of deleting and removing, you know, all of that. Because deep down in my heart, I knew that, you know, nobody's perfect, but I know that Trump loves America. And I know that, you know, he's going to do the best that he can. So, through all that, it's like I had to redevelop friendships, you know, with other people and stuff. But the basic thing I'm getting at is I just, I really want to be a part of the walk away. And I just want to say, Brandon, I just love you so much. And I, I love your podcast that you do. And I love that you can make me laugh. I love the guests that you bring on because today, sometimes we just need that. You know, I want to smile. I want to laugh and I want to feel good about what's going on in, in our country. But like, it's starting to get scary, you know, and I won't put a sticker on my car. I won't put a Trump sticker on and I won't wear a hat because, you know, I'm a woman. I'm afraid that, you know, I just don't want to bring that kind of attention to me. So I just want to say hats off to everybody that's 
stepped up to the plate and is being really brave and coming out with their stories and they're so interpersonal and I watch a ton of them and um, I just want to say you know congratulations for the walk away campaign march that's coming up I wish I lived in Washington uh, I would definitely go just to be amongst you guys and um, you guys are like the new revolution so I just want to say hats off to you guys and um, you know here we go so Enjoy. Hope you have a great March, and thanks, Brandon, for uh, creating such a revolution in this country. Thanks. Bye.